Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us today for our first episode of the Parish Quirky Corner. And uh, this is a new episode that we're um, starting. And really what we're going to, what I would like to do is to just show you around in the different um, places or different areas in our parish. And we're actually um, our first for our first episode today. We are here in the sacristy, all right, at Our Lady of Lords. So this is uh, our, our first uh, quirky corner episode. Um, so the sacristy, so this is the priest sacristy, and we actually have a couple of them here at Our Lady of Lords. And all the Catholic churches have a sacristy. And, and namely, the sacristy is, is the room where the priests or the, uh, the clergy would, would, would vest, or would prepare for Mass. Um, so, uh, so if the priest is preparing for Mass, so the, this, this room that we're at is a place where um, the vestments are stored, where the things that you would normally need for Mass are stored. And this is also where the priest uh, you know, does his spiritual preparation. So, uh, you know, this is not just a room where, you know, you can kind of hang around. It, it's really a place where the priest prepares himself, all right, for, uh, for the holy sacrifice of the Mass. So, I just want to show you, uh, you know, what the, what the sacristy looks like. And, um, you know, this is one of those quirky corners that, um, you know, most people don't really go into unless you're, uh, you know, a minister uh, of the altar or you're a member of the clergy. So I'm going to show you a little bit uh, what's what's in this in this room. Um, so um, we have the drawers over here. So each of the drawers have the name of the priests or deacons. So we have our own little drawer in here where, where we put our stuff. Uh, this is actually my drawer over here. And um, uh, I have some items in here that I would I would use for mass with some personal items. Um, I have to make a confession though, folks. Um, I, I accidentally put a, um, a a screwdriver in my uh, in my drawer and it slipped behind it. So now I, I can't get the screwdriver behind the drawer. So it doesn't actually completely close. So uh, one of these days, I'm hoping that um, uh, somebody will be able to retrieve the screwdriver. Um, I also accidentally dropped behind it too, in addition to the screwdriver, an amos. So an amos is, um, this is an amos, all right, and this is a cloth that the priest wears over his shoulder, all right, uh, when he puts on his vestments and his alb. So this is what it looks like, and it's, it's actually worn like this, so that it would cover the priest's neck and then he would put on the alb. So anyway, this is an amos, and um, with the screwdriver in the back, I also have an extra piece of amos. So I don't know if any of you are carpenters that can help me out retrieve the screwdriver and the amos, but if you are, I would be grateful, and you can, um, maybe someone can help me take it out of where it's stuck behind the drawer. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so these are the drawers. Uh-oh, I just slipped something behind it again. So there's... <laughs> There's a piece of paper now behind it. Um, I'm not having any luck with this drawer. Um, so we have a whole lot of things that's stored over here. Um, and uh, and it's, we probably will need to do some general cleanup in here because uh, we don't know what's really stored in some of these places. Now here, we, it looks like we have the way of the cross. So it is Lent. And um, we have different versions of the way of the cross that we use for our way of the cross or stations of the cross on Fridays. So, um, so each of our churches have uh, different booklets that we use. Uh, you might be wondering what these are. So um, when our ministers come in to prepare for Mass, they usually would come over here and they would sign this little binder. Um, they would sign in that they are present, either to serve as, a, as an extraordinary minister, or as a lector, or as an altar server. They'd sign up over here, and um, these are their medals that they would wear when they are serving uh, either as a lector or as an extraordinary minister. So we have that over here, okay? Um, we also have drawers over here 
for the different things that we would need for mass, um, for benediction and so forth. So these are our drawers um, to hold the, the things that we would need for mass. These closets would hold the different vestments that we would use. So as you can see, we have the, um, the violet in here that we're currently using now for, for Lent. Um, we have the, the, the rose-colored vestments that we would use for Leitari Sunday and Gaudete Sunday. The white and the red um, are right here. And um, we also have another similar closet in here. This is where I normally put my stuff and where we have some of the other vestments like the green for ordinary time. So that's that. And uh, Father Joe and Monsignor Tracy, they also have their, their vestments in here and their albs uh, that they would use when they're saying Mass here at Our Lady of Lourdes. Now, um, let me see if we can get the camera taken over here. I want to show you this, this sink over here. Um, so this is not just a regular sink. Uh, very interesting enough. In every Catholic church, you usually have two sinks. You have a regular sink. All right, where you would wash your hands and, and um, when you dispose anything on this sink, it would go into the, um, into the sewage, into the sewer. There is a sp another special sink next to it that they call a sacrarium. A sacrarium. It's a special sink because the, the sink does not empty in the, um, in the sewage. It empties into the ground. Now, what would be the point of that? Well, the reason why we have a special sink like that is, so for example, if we were, um, we were pouring, um, for example, a, um, um, we were cleaning up the, the sacred vessels that we would use for mass, and, um, and maybe there were some leftover precious blood or leftover um, uh, particles of, of, of the body of Christ, um, you wouldn't want to just dispose of that on the regular sink where it would go into the sewage. We want it to be a little bit more respectful. And so this sink, all right, would dispose those, those sacred fluids or fluids that might contain elements of the precious blood or the, the body of Christ, it would go into the ground. Um, church tells us, that ch church law and, and tradition tells us that when you have something sacred, it should not just be thrown into the trash. It should be buried or it should be burned. So that's the logic of why we have this special sink called the Sacrarium. The Sacrarium. All right, so we have one here at um, Our Lady of Lords, and there is another one at Queen of Peace, where hopefully in one of our Quirky Corner episodes I'll be able to show you. Um, so we're just going to move a little bit around in here, and I want to show you a couple of things in here um, that might be of interest to you. So in this particular closet, um, we use a key in here, and this is where we keep some of the sacred vessels. Um, so we have some of the oil stock in here that we use for the anointing of the sick. Um, we keep some of the valuable objects in here and we also have the keys to the tabernacle um, where the blessed sacrament is uh, reserved um, you might know you might you may may not know that but the tabernacles are actually alarmed and so um, uh, in the diocese of camden um, all the tabernacles are alarmed and so um, even if you have the key to be able to open the tabernacle you also have to be able to um, to <clears throat> turn off the alarm. Um, so that's, that's kept in here in a, in a uh, special place so, um, so that we can keep the Blessed Sacrament safe. Uh, we have more vestments in here. This is uh, the, the, our deacons. Uh, this is where they put their vestments. So these are the dalmatics that the deacons would wear. So that's, that's, that's what these are. Um, and then we have a little closet in here. I want to show this to you. This is pretty neat. Um, this is the, um, the church bell, all right? Um, so here in Lourdes, we have a, uh, a bell. Uh, I guess it's a speaker bell, but um, we're able to, to um, the bells are programmed to, um, 
to, to, to play during, before Mass, before all the Masses. They're also um, programmed to play uh, during the traditional time of the Angelus, such as the 12, 12 noon and the 6 p.m. We are also, we also have a little remote control in here that if you, if you were to press the right number, it would, um, um, it would ring the toll bells, which would be for funerals. And, um, and then it would also, uh, we also have the option to play the bells um, and have it on peel, which we would use for joyous occasions, such as, um, you know, a wedding, for example. So kind of neat. Um, Father Joe was kind enough to, um, to kind of um, uh, figure out the different options that we have for the bells so that we can, we can ring the proper bells for funerals and for weddings particularly. So, um, so yeah, this is kind of neat. Now we have, an, an, uh, uh, we have a similar one over at uh, Queen of Peace, which again, hopefully I'll be able to show you in another episode. And um, uh, that one, interestingly enough, is not a, a speaker bell like we have here at Lourdes. It's actually an actual bell. So that's kind of neat. All right. So there's a lot of other things in here that, you know, we can kind of show you, but um, those are just some of the interesting stuff that we have here in this quirky parish corner, all right, uh, called the sacristy here at Our Lady of Lords. So thank you for joining us, and, and join us again next time for another episode of our quirky parish corner.